respect in algebra one half lesson 101 greetings um, Caleb we are getting ready to start something we're going to be doing for a long 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 time and that is Multiplying with exponents. Okay, let's start. With, and this is something that we're going to start by showing you the long way, and then we're going to work into some shortcuts to make it much faster. But showing you the long way is going to help you understand exactly what's going on. It's going to help you remember now and forever what this is all about. Okay. Let's say we're multi multiplying together these two expressions. Each one is a base with an exponent. The bases all match. That is critical. The bases match, and so we want to develop a way to multiply these quickly and easily. The long way is to remind you that 5 squared stands for 5 times 5. 5 to the third power means 5 times 5 times 5. And 5 to the fourth well, right? Four of those. The exponent stands for how many times you multiply the base against itself. We know that, but I'm just reminding you. So, if we're multiplying, and then we're multiplying these together too, right? That's that. So, we're multiplying five times itself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. The answer is is 5 to the ninth power. And we're not going to count, but that's not what's important. What's important is we understand how we got that 9, and it was from figuring out how many times we were actually multiplying 5 together. Now, that's the long way. Because I don't know about you, but I don't want to be writing all those out, especially when we get into... things like this, where our exponents are getting even bigger, right? 2, 3, 4 wasn't horrible, but I don't want to write 10, 15 times, and then 17 times. That's crazy. But if you notice back here, we added 1, 2, plus 3, plus 4 to get our 9. Look. We can just add the exponents and get the answer that way. So... With these, we know that the base is going to be 10. Remember, the bases have to match, or this rule goes right out the window. Um, if the bases match, we can add the exponents. We're multiplying matching bases, so we add the exponents. And that gives us 10 to the, what is that, 32, right? Yes. And again, we don't have to write out the actual number. We're just calculating the new exponent. Right? That's right. This is right. Okay. This one's a curveball. Simplify. 2 to the third power times 5 squared. And now we want to simplify this. Slam on the brakes, check the bases first. They don't match. So guess what? There's nothing we can do to simplify that except, I mean, we can write it squished together without an equal sign, or without a multiplication sign, but it's the same thing. If the bases don't match, this doesn't work at all. Okay, now let's get into a more complex problem. It's going to look like this. Notice that I use a lot of room. I use double lines because my attention is really focused on these exponents and if I write small it just makes it harder to read. Okay, so we're multiplying together this string of bases. Okay, here's what I noticed right away and I'm sure you did too. Some of them are x's and some of them are y's. So what we have learned is that we can combine the x's and the y's, but not the x's and the y's together, if that makes any sense. So, okay, so I'm going to do that first, and I know that I add 
the exponent. But look, here's a base of x that doesn't have an exponent. Well, if there's no exponent, you can give it an exponent of 1. Okay? Any number or letter can be shown as being raised to the power of 1 if it doesn't have a different exponent. So I go ahead and fill in that 1. Now I add up all of the exponents on the x bases, right? And then the y's, 17 plus 6 equals x to the 7th, y to the 23rd, and that's correct. Notice that we can get these big, crazy bases like 32, 23, it doesn't hurt us at all. We're not doing anything to calculate them. So that's not, that doesn't have to be scary in the least. Example 101.5. I'm going to show you now a shorter way to do this. A and A squared. I'm still copying this out of the book. You'll get to the point where you'll be able to just look in the book and copy the simplified version, just calculate it in your head. I'm still writing it out. Notice that I've sort of gone from more detail to less detail. <clears throat> I want you to try to follow that along um, so that you're not jumping ahead too fast into these because they, are a little, they can get a little confusing. Like in here, okay, here's an A with no exponent, we give it a 1. Here's an M with no exponent, we give it a 1. Now, instead of writing it out like this, I'm just going to do it mentally. I'm going to do, I'm always do it alphabetically. 1 plus 2 is 3 and 7. 1, 6, 12. And that's the right answer. Okay? The time will come when you can just look at this in the book and you don't even have to copy it out. And you'll be able to do it. This is called the product, oh, the marker's going, the product rule for exponents. This is a rule we are going to be talking about for the rest of your career in algebra. I'm not kidding, the students of mine who are finishing up their Algebra 2 year, who are Lydia Hostetler and Jayla Judd, they're still using the product rule for exponents in their work too. So this is going to be with us for a good long time. Okay, that's lesson 101. Good job, bye.